The deadline to register for the historic Oneida Secretary election is only days away, and the Oneida Business Committee was busy holding informational meetings to help educate tribal members on the new process. Throughout the course of the last few weeks, we've been trying to inform the community about the materials that they're receiving in the mail, also what the constitutional amendments were that General Tribal Council approved back in 2010. The Bureau of Indian Affairs in New Mexico must receive the voter registration form by April 1, 2015, in order for the individual to vote on May 2nd. So please don't delay. The annual Oneida fishing ceremony took place on the banks of Duck Creek at Pampern Park this past week. The ceremony celebrates the return of the fish after the long winter and also celebrates the court victory that asserted Oneida tribal members' rights to fish those very waters. Well, we're here celebrating our, um, our win of the uh, court case on uh, fishing rights for uh, tribal members and Oneida people here on our land in uh, Duck Creek, as they've done for generations. And also the uh, return of the ceremony, greeting the fish to uh, come back, you know, as they've done for centuries and centuries. So it's a really beautiful historical event, and it's a good thing to celebrate. Filling out the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA form, can be a pretty daunting task. So in response, the Oneida Higher Education Department held a financial aid workshop at the Oneida Community Education Center this past week. It's really important to do the FAFSA early, as early as possible, especially for high school seniors who this is the first time doing the financial aid. Um, it's a very complicated process, a lot of questions and things to ask. The workshop provided one-on-one -on -one guidance on the financial aid process and also discussed the Oneida Higher Education Scholarship, if applicable. This has been This Week in Oneida. Have a great week.